You fall in love and I don't want to get rid of either one of them. Oh, she's so cute. I'll, I'll have to decide later, but. Hello, my cherished doll friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today. I'm just about to head out to pick up a Felicity haul that I found on Facebook Marketplace. I am so excited. It's a doll and a few furniture pieces and some clothes. And it's a big haul and I'm getting a really good deal and I can't wait to see it all and show it all to you. So let's head out in my car and I have about a half hour drive to pick it up and then we'll bring it home and take a look. I'm so excited. Hello, I'm back. I had such a fun day, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to show you. I have my Felicity here and she's super cute. She's wearing Elizabeth's riding suit and it looks beautiful on her. And so I wasn't really planning to get another Felicity because I really do like this one. She's very pretty and she's got her beautiful shiny hair and her little pin curls or tendrils and so, but when I saw this ad on Facebook Marketplace for a Felicity haul, basically furniture, clothing, and a doll for a really good price, and I'll, I'll tell you at the end, uh, oh my goodness, you're going to be so shocked when you see all the stuff I got and what a good deal I got. So I thought we would just start by showing my Felicity, and I'm going to set her aside. And I, I don't know where to start. What do you guys want to see first? The furniture, the doll, the clothes? Um, I'm thinking maybe we'll show you the doll. Well, first of all, you can see behind me, this is her clothing press, I think it's called. Look at this thing, it's beautiful. It's like a piece of furniture. This thing is heavy and it's beautiful wood. Um, the drawers open. I'll get, I'll go up close and show you more detail, but oh, and look at this. It's got these doors that open and these shelves that, are, that you can adjust. And so it's a great place to store all of her clothing. And it's just a gorgeous piece of furniture. I never thought that I would collect doll furniture for the American girls because I don't have a ton of space um, for, you know, an American girl doll's house or all of the furniture pieces. But I do like to, to make little vignettes around my house in little corners. And so I'm thinking of maybe making my house into a huge dollhouse and basically just having little corners of every room that I have being a little smaller version room for my dolls. So that's so I'm starting to collect a few things now and uh, this is my first really big piece. So I'm really excited about that. At the end I will do close-ups of all these things but I had to show you that first because it's it's right there in your face and and in the back of us. So that is the clothing press from Felicity's collection. And so I'm going to put this little girl down to the side. And I guess I'll just show you the doll first because we're all about the dolls, right? So let's get her up and then we'll look at all her stuff. Okay, so I'm going to get my new Felicity doll up on the table for you to see. And I didn't know what she would look like. I didn't really have high hopes for this doll. Uh, the picture from Facebook was quite far away and everything, nothing was really closely shown. So it was a bit of a risk. I didn't really know what I was getting and I didn't know what the condition of this doll was or even if she was a pretty one. So I'm happy to report that I think she's a pretty one. She's in good shape. She's an older version. She is dirty, but um, her clothing is clean and she looks clean. So, um, but her face, she'll definitely need a clean up. I can see the dirt on her face. So without further ado, here is Felicity. Look at her. She's on a stand. And from what I can tell, this is one of the old, older, this is one of the older type stands from back when they first were making them. It's a wooden one and it's round, not like the square white ones they make today. So I don't know if you can see her well. I'm getting new lighting soon, you guys. So I'm sorry, my setup for the lights is not great. There's lots of shadows and whatnot, but 
Um, we're working on improving that soon, okay? But uh, for now, I hope you can see her. She is so cute. Here, let me get my glasses on so I can see what I'm telling you about. She's got that kind of softer, squishier skin and her face is soft and squishy too, just like my other one. And she's got very pretty, soft, shiny hair. I think it feels like it's a tiny bit longer than my other Felicity. We, we'll, I'll bring the other one up and we can compare. And I'll show you up close at the end their eyes and comparing them, but she's got those beautiful green eyes. I had to pull her tendrils out because they were stuck inside her hair. So I did brush her hair when I got home and pulled out her tendrils. So I was very pleased to see that they were still there and I, they just need a bit of touching up. Her face paint is quite pale compared to my other Felicity who has rosy cheeks and you can still see the color on her lips. This one is very pale. But what I like about this one more is that she, her eye sockets seem a little bigger. I, my other F Felicity, I really love, I think she's quite pretty, but I always found her eye sockets to be a little on the smaller side for some reason, compared to some that I've seen on YouTube videos. Um, but this one I think has slightly uh, larger eye sockets and also a slightly rounder, chubbier face. So I just think she's adorable. I was thinking to myself, okay, I'll buy this lot and I'll keep all the stuff and probably sell the doll and get half my money back. But you know how it goes, you guys. I, you bring a new one in and you fall in love and I don't wanna get rid of either one of them. Oh, she's so cute. I'll, I'll have to decide later, but she's very dirty. Um, I don't know if you can see, she's got dirt in her fingernails and her face is, <laughs> you probably can't see from here, but her face is quite dirty, but she's a very, very pretty and she's really squishy though. I almost feel like half of her stuffing was removed and her head is quite loose. So I, I, she does need a bit of tightening up and, uh, but she, her legs are squishy. So she's definitely, and also the tag on her body, and I've never seen a tag like this. The tag actually says, made for uh, made for Pleasant Company. It's actually a Pleasant Company tag labeled 1986 right on the doll. So I've never seen that before. I don't know if any, but any of you know what that means. I know a lot of times they put tags um, on dolls as they're making them and they may not necessarily correspond to the doll. They're just using up tags. So but I think that's pretty, pretty cool. And this dress also has a Pleasant Company tag in it. This is a dress that uh, she arrived in. Yeah, this is a Pleasant Company. Uh, this is her travel dress. And she's got this beautiful little mob cap, which I don't have any of these. I have one for Elizabeth, but none of, um, none of Felicity's. So I was really excited to get this little outfit. So I think she is very beautiful. And let's just set her Let's see, I'll set her to the side so you can look at her while we're talking. Oh, she's blocking my light. Let's put her on this side and then I'll show you the other things. Can she stand? She is a little bit wobbly. I might have to tighten her limbs. There she is. Okay, so we've got a Felicity on each side and the cabinet in the back. So speaking of furniture, there are a few more furniture items. Oh, this is exciting. So this is her nightstand. It's all wood. I don't, I don't know if it's cherry wood or what, what it is. It's so cute. It's got this little ripple detail here and it has a little drawer and inside uh, this is a little cloth that I guess just goes on top so she has you know almost like a doily just a thing whoops so that she can put things on her nightstand without you know staining it or whatever so that's just a little maybe it goes that way a little cover for her nightstand so that is another piece we got today. Let's see, how can I display this stuff? Maybe we'll put that there. Okay, and the next furniture item is her school desk. Look at that. 
her little wooden, it's a wooden spindle chair school desk and this thing moves around so she can sit in the chair and then put this in front of her and write on her school things on her tablet or whatever she has to write with and she's got a little drawer in the bottom to store her school items and there is a little book in there so there's the little book and so you can see there's a little bit of writing in there uh, it says felicity merriman her book 1774 and the first, as in most of the books that they do for the dolls, the first few pages are written and drawn in. <laughs> so cute. So that's, I guess, her horse. Oh, oh, she's named her horse Penny. And she's writing a few little things about her horse. Oh, it's just so cute. And oh, she even has like little ink blobs. I don't know if this is how, because it got wet or if that's sort of showing when you write with an ink well in those days you did get ink blobs so i don't know if that's original or not i have the feeling it is because she was just writing her name over and over and over and then her her horse's name which i think is adorable that her horse is named penny because that's the name of my kitty cat my cat is P miss penny blossom so we both have a penny so that's her little book in her desk and this is just adorable so i don't know how i'm gonna display all of this while i'm showing you here let's move that up there so you know it's there all right so i have a whole bag of stuff i am so excited so you guys i have not looked at this bag yet i saw it in the picture on facebook but i have not looked at any of this yet so it's the first time for both of us and i'm really excited so let's see what Felicity has in her collection. Okay, I don't know if I should bring out the clothing or the doodads first. So this is a little box. This is not obviously an American Girl box. This is just what she stored all the stuff in. So maybe we'll look at this first. Oh my goodness. This is like a treasure box. Look. What is in there? treasures <laughs> I'm so excited so I just looked at um, Alison Hernandez Felicity collection video uh, Muneka's poupées and dolls that's her channel and I also looked at um, uh, I dream of Johnny's Felicity haul video because I wanted to kind of understand what I was opening up when I went through this stuff. So it took a lot of resistance today to not touch any of this until I'd watched a few of the videos and um, just learned a little bit about her collection. So I'm not gonna remember the names of everything, but uh, okay, so this, and I already have forgotten the name of this, but this is something that goes with her school collection. And it's a little, some kind of a little writing tablet and that goes with her desk. And there's a book here, a little book. What is this? A little pretty pocket book, a little song book. Oh, wow. This is a full book with, there's writing on all of the pages. So I guess that's a book that she can study at school really cute it's actually got little stories in it and little poems oh i think it's like teaching the alphabet the great e play the great d play so little rules and little poems about the alphabet okay so that goes with her school staff oh i don't know what to get first okay there's a couple of buttons here the American Girls Collection. Okay, there's an Addy pin actually. That's really cute. Addy pin. And there's another button here. This is Felicity Saves the Day. Little pin there. Oh, and this is Felicity's little purse that goes with her meat outfit. That's good to have. I do have Felicity's meat outfit. 
um, but I don't have this purse, so that is wonderful to have. Oh, there's so many goodies in here. Um, there's some socks. I guess those go with um, one of her outfits. They feel really good. Like, oh, there's a hole in this one. <laughs> I'm gonna have to darn a sock. Darn it. <laughs> Oh, that was corny. But yeah, I think I can probably repair that with just a little bit of thread and needle, like in the olden days and in her times in the 1700s, they didn't throw away socks, they darned them. So that's okay, we can deal with that. And, oh, here's something. This is, I can't remember the name, but this is something that goes around her waist to make her dress poof out. It's an undergarment. That is so interesting. So that makes her hips go big on the sides. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Well, we'll try that on after. That is so exciting to have her undergarments. Okay, what else? There's another button in here. Meet Felicity. cute and another pair of socks this is a light blue pair and from what i learned today in the videos that i watched these go with i believe her birthday dress which is pink and floral and i'm just noticing here that there's beautiful embroidery on those socks that is so pretty those are really nice and they don't have any holes so those are in really good condition. So that's a good pair of socks. And we have a little pair of adorable running shoes in here, little yellow sneakers. I don't know what outfit those would go with. They look really tiny. Those are so cute. Are they really American girl? doesn't say so anywhere. I don't know if they are, but maybe you know in the you can tell me in the comments if those are American Girl shoes or not. They don't look like they would be from Felicity's era, but I know there were a couple of outfits in the clothing haul that are not Felicity's stuff. So those are those. And also another pair of shoes that are from a more modern collection. Look at these funny little winter boots. Aren't they cute? Perfect for Christmas time and winter. They have fuzzy tops and they're red and yellow with laces. And um, they've got the American Girl of Today logo on the bottom of them. So that, that's a more modern set of shoes. So I'll set those down. I know you can't see anything that's down there, but I'll, I'll give you a good view of the table when we're done here. Ooh, I'm so excited. I can see what's in here, but you can't see it yet. Okay, let's... Uh, choose something. Okay, this is, I have no idea what this is. It's a little block that has different pictures on all the sides. I don't know if it's a toy or a learning tool, but it's really cute. That's really cute. We'll put that up on the on the desktop, just in case it's for learning. Oh, this is adorable. A little candle holder with a candle. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. Now, how does that set in there? I feel like I want to get a little bit of wax and put it in there so it'll stay. <laughs> That is so cute. So I guess that would be something for her bedside table so that if she has to get up and find the loo in the middle of the night, she has a candlestick to guide her way. I don't know where she would go to the loo. She probably has a chamber pot, I would think. Now, I have no idea what this little thing is. It looks like a Barbie hat or something. Um, maybe it goes with a pet. I don't know, but we'll just keep that to the side until we figure it out. Okay, so this is part of her, um, what is this? Well, this is part of her desk. This is a sand, a sand receptacle. It's, it looks like a pepper shaker, but 
it's to you put sand on your ink to blot or dry the ink so that goes with the school stuff and then I don't think we have the quill pen the oh maybe we do wait this is the inkwell I think it's heart shaped it says oh it's not cute I believe that's the inkwell and I think there's supposed to be a little feather pen and it says pleasant company. I don't know if you can read that on the bottom and that's really beautiful. So that this desk is getting a bit crowded. I think I'll put that there and maybe I'll put the book in the drawer. Oh, that book doesn't fit there. So maybe we'll put it on the, on the shelf on the nightstand. I know you can't see that, but I'll show you later. Um, Maybe that's a book she wants to read before bed so she can have that on her nightstand. That goes with the school stuff. And we've got her teacup here and the spoon. It's not interesting that the teacup doesn't have a handle. I wonder why. But there it is, a little teacup that goes with her tea lesson set, which I believe is included in this haul. So uh, it's not in this box, but hopefully somewhere in this bag. So that's what I've got so far here. Let's set the tea there for now. So that box is empty. And I'm gonna reach in the bag and see what other goodies we have. There's lots, you guys. Okay, so what can I find here? Okay. Here is the tea lesson box. That is so beautiful. And I don't know what's in it yet. Let's have a look. Okay, it's her little, it's a little cake. A little, I can't remember what Allison said that cake was called, but it's a little, I guess a cake that goes with tea. So that with the cup and saucer are her tea lesson set. So that's wonderful to have, really exciting. Okay, what else, what else? Okay, so, oh, there's a couple of books in here. Felicity's Dancing Shoes. These are hardcover too. There's that one. Beautiful books, color pictures. See, beautiful hardcover books. And Felicity's New Sister is another one. I like how small they are. I haven't read enough of the books. I need to get reading these American Girl doll books. Now this, I have no idea what this is, you guys. I don't think this is American Girl. It looks like a blow up um, swimming tube. It says hold tight. So, yeah, I don't know what that is. That was in there. I'm going to throw that over there. Okay, I'm going to show this after. There is one thing that is not clothing, but it goes with something else that I want to show after. So I'm going to leave this for the moment. And we'll get into some of the clothes. So I'm really excited about some of these. So this is a more modern one. This is a girl of today little fluffy jacket. Gosh, I've got too much stuff on this table. I'm just going to move this over momentarily so that we can see the new stuff. <laughs> Get all this out of the way. Okay, so we've got this adorable little girl of today yellow jacket with a zipper. And it's got the girl of today logo on it too. And that goes, I think that goes with these boots. But actually also these yellow runners go with it. So that's really cool. It goes, has um, two pairs of shoes for that jacket. And there's a soccer outfit. This isn't really Felicity um, related. I knew this, I knew these two outfits were in this haul, um, but I guess the girl that had this set before had all the authentic Felicity stuff, but maybe also was into soccer and wanted some modern things to play with. So. That's fine. Um, pulling things out one by one, but they might not all go together. Okay, this I believe is her birthday dress.
dress. It's a bit crumpled. The birthday pinner dress, I believe. Here, let me just close the Velcro on here. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna, this just needs a little bit of an iron, but it is so pretty. It's got the lace, uh, not lace, but ruffle sleeves. And there's a little flower on that side. Oh yeah, there's a little flower on each sleeve and a little ruffle there. And oh, there's some dogs going crazy outside. Oh dear. Oh, there was a little dog fight out there. <laughs> Neighbors dogs. So I'm excited. That's the birthday dress, I believe it's called, if I'm getting that right. What else? What else, what else, what else? Okay, and oh, look at all the mob caps. Okay, so we've got a plain white mob cap. I think that might go with uh, it goes with one of the outfits. I'm not sure which one. This is the one that goes with, I believe, the meat dress, which I didn't have. So I'm really excited to have this one. It's a tiny little stain right there. I'm sure I can get that off. Other than that, it's perfect. The bow is still intact and it's really cute. So three mob caps in this set. Unbelievable. Look at this. This is totally random. Isn't that Samantha's Christmas dress? The cranberry Christmas dress? What perfect timing with Christmas around the corner to get this dress. I'm so excited to see that. And that was another thing I spotted in the picture when I was looking at the lot. I was like, oh my goodness, are you serious right now? And this is a Pleasant Company one. It says 1989. So precious. And I just finished doing my dressing my dolls for Christmas video. So I'm going to have to add another chapter to that video now. Okay. And oh, wow. Look at this. Felicity's corset. Now I don't see the ties. Or is it a, is it, is it a corset or a stay? I'm not sure, but it goes around her waist to cinch in the waist. That is so cute. That's Pleasant Company, 1996 it says. That is, so that's an undergarment that will go, I guess, with this piece here. And I'll just have to find some, maybe some shoelaces or something to tie that up with, unless the ties are in here somewhere. We'll find out. Let's bring this bag up here. What else, what else? This is so exciting. Okay, so these, these look like the snow pants that go with that yellow, the yellow outfit here, which would make sense. So it's like a snow suit, a winter, winter snow outfit for Felicity when she wants to be modern and wintry. That is adorable. I'm running out of space here, you guys. Now, what else? Um, oh, what is this? It looks like a golf bag. I have no idea what it is. It's got a zipper and a tie. And there's shoes. Oh, you know what? Those are soccer cleats. I don't know if you can see the cleats. <laughs> So, oh, this is her soccer bag. Look, there's a soccer ball. How cute is that? And the other shoe and some black soccer socks all in this little bag. How fun. Oh my God, I have to show that to my son. He used to play soccer when he was a kid. That is so cute. And it all fits in this little soccer bag. <laughs> so the girl that had this set before was the daughter-in-law of the lady that I bought this all from. She was storing it for her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law originally wanted to keep it. She just didn't have any place to store it. And then I guess she finally decided, no, I'm just going to sell it. So she let her mother-in-law sell it for her. So that's how this came to be. Lucky me. Okay, so here we go. Here is our meat dress which I already have one of these. 
which is fine. I'll probably keep the better of the two. This one looks in really good shape. The colors are bright. And then, so now we have the little, the purse that goes with it too. And then the mob cap that goes with it. So I have a complete meat outfit now. Yay, so exciting. Sorry about all the shadows. I know every time I put something up, I'm creating shadows, but oh well. Okay, so that is the meat dress. And I don't know what to pick out first. Okay, this is, um, this, this looks like an undergarment, like a little shift. I'm not sure what it goes with. Maybe this plain, plain bonnet. It could be used as a nightie, I guess, but I don't think it is a nightie. I think it goes underneath something. And this is, this goes with the pink dress. So this is her pinner. Oh, wow. I'm so excited to have this. This is kind of, uh, let me find the dress that that goes with. It's down here. Okay, that goes with this. That's the pinner outfit. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the beautiful floral print on there and ties in the back. That is beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I just love it. I have so many clothes now, I really do need two Felicities because then I can put you know two outfits on display at, at a time. Okay, so this one, I believe this is a part of her school outfit. And there should be a little red skirt that goes with this. This is so beautiful. It has a little tie and it's all lined and it has a beautiful ruffle around the edge and on the sleeves. It's beautiful, soft cotton, really good quality. <clears throat> Oh, and here's, here's the skirt. Here's the skirt. So that goes with that. See, I never would have known what all, what all went together if I hadn't have watched those previous two videos earlier today. So that is her school's outfit. It's beautiful. <clears throat> I wish I could have dressed pretty like that in school. Oh my gosh, and then this. This is a, I believe this is a pocket that you wear under your, your dress. I'm not sure which one it goes with and you wear it underneath and you could put your pin money in there and uh, whatever you need to have with you, your essentials instead of a purse. It's just a little pocket that goes inside your dress. I'll have to find out what that goes with, which outfit that's meant for. <clears throat> and what else? Oh, you guys, there's still good stuff coming. Look at this one. Felicity's Christmas dress. Okay, so it's kind of pulled apart right now. Let's see, how does this go? So this is, okay, this has to get pinned in and there should be a second one. Oh, it's got both of them, good. So these are the um, stomachers. These are the stomachers so that you can change this dress around. Okay, now I know what that white thing is. I believe that goes underneath this dress. I'm not sure. Let's see. So maybe this white, does that go like that? I don't know. I don't know, I don't think so. And the little, the little, um, what is this called? The little pin cap that goes on the top of, of her head. That is so pretty. And that goes with the Christmas dress. So cute. I can't believe I'm getting all these authentic Felicity outfits all in one lot. I feel so lucky, so lucky to get all this. Wow, it's amazing. Okay, now, oh, okay, now it makes sense. This is the bottom part of the dress. It goes underneath. Okay, so that white thing. So this is the part that goes underneath the dress. Okay, now it's all coming together. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to try these all on. This is so exciting. Ooh. Okay, one, 
last thing. I think this is the last thing, but it's a pretty epic item. Her cloak. Look at that. That is so pretty. Her little riding cloak. Look how the back of it is. And it feels like it's made of wool. It says Pleasant Company 1996 on there. Okay, and then it's got its ties. Oh my goodness, she's gonna look so beautiful in this. I love the look of her in the cloak. We got some epic things here, you guys. I just can't believe it. It's just beyond my dreams to have, if I went on, um, eBay and try to get any one of these items, these clothing items. Can you guess how much this would add up to? And I'm going to, after I show you this one last thing, I'm going to ask you to guess or, well, I'll tell you how much I paid for all of it and you can let me know if I got a good deal or not. I think I did. So um, I'm going to clean all this up and show you the one last thing and I'll be back. Okay. Oh, I forgot I found the soccer shorts. I forgot to show those before they were kind of stuck to something else. So that goes with the little soccer set. Cute. Okay, hold your breath, everybody. Here's my display. Ah, I'm just screaming. Yes, I got the canopy bed too. Isn't it amazing? Look at it. Do a quick sweep here, but you haven't seen this yet. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is just stunning. It's got everything, the pillow and the, the pillow is in there. It all says Pleasant Company and the ticking and this beautiful blanket. Even the bed warmer is here. <laughs> The curtains open and close. Oh, it is such a beautiful piece. Such, and look at the closet in the background. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I just love my Felicity collection and all of the clothes. I don't even have them displayed here, but I showed them all to you one by one. I'll have to do another video doing a fashion show with all of the outfits, but I just want to show you up close this little school desk. These things are precious. Now there's a name for this thing and I can't remember what she called it. Made in Taiwan, I think that says. Okay, but that's a little learning tablet of some kind. <clears throat> oh, it has the Lord's Prayer on it and then the alphabet. Lovely. And then this is the little shaker for the sand to blot the ink. We don't have our ink pen, but we've got the ink well. I believe that's what this is. And then there's the Pleasant Company sign. It's a beautiful ceramic piece. And I don't know what this is. I'll have to research that a little bit. It may not be an American Girl thing, but it's cute. So it's a little spindle chair. The only thing with this, it, it has a tiny bit of damage right there. Uh, it did, it's cracked right there, but um, I think that's okay. I still love it. It's just priceless. It's just so precious. And then over here, we've got the little tea set, the tea lesson. This goes up and this opens and the little cake is inside and her little cup and saucer. <laughs> I think that, what does it say on there? Pleasant Company, yep. And the little spoon. It looks a little tarnished. Probably needs a good polish. <laughs> and the little nightstand. This little drawer opens. And there was a little book in there. What did I do with that book? I put it somewhere else. This little book, I think, was to, would it fit? Oh, actually, that one does fit. So there we go. And her little candle. Oh, so lovely. And look at her. 
So her hair is a little bit messy. I need to fix it up, but you can see her pretty eyes. She's dirty. She needs to be cleaned, but she's still doing okay. You can see her fingernails are dirty. Um, yeah, she needs a good clean. This dress is in perfect condition though. There's nothing wrong with the dress. It doesn't look as aged as the doll herself. And then let's just turn her around a little bit and you can see her beautiful hair. A little bit dry on the very ends, but other than that, very shiny and pretty. Yep, she's good. And then let's go look at the closet up close. If I can get back here. Let's just get another little view of everything. Oh, I can't wait to make a little scene somewhere in my house. I just think it's so adorable. And the colors are good for Christmas too. What do you think? Isn't this the cutest thing? I know a lot of people don't really want to collect the, the bed because it takes up so much space and I do agree, but I, I just couldn't resist all of this for such a good deal. Okay, everybody, I paid $350 for all of this. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think that's a pretty darn good deal. Even that clothing closet in the back there. So four pieces of furniture, um, books, accessories, the tea lesson set, the school set, all of the clothes that I showed you that are on the floor right now, but I'm gonna put away in this beautiful piece of furniture right here. And let's get this open. This is gorgeous. And it's in very good condition. It was really looked after. It's not all marked up or scuffed or anything. It's gorgeous. And the bottom drawer has a bunch of hangers. Which I don't have any American Girl hangers at all. Oh, and two pieces of jewelry. So we've got this little... This necklace here, which I guess goes with the Christmas dress, it's got a little pearl and a blue ribbon. And then her coral necklace that goes with her meat is in there as well. So you guys, I lucked out on this, on this set. I, this lady who was selling it, you know, she didn't know anything about this stuff. Um, I was saying, oh, Felicity still has her pin curls. And she was like, oh, you know all about it. And I know enough to know that this is a good deal. And thank you guys for um, watching this far if you're still here. And let me just get a better view for you to say goodbye. So thank you for watching if you made it this far. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I love doing these collections and building my collection so that I can share it all with you. It gives me so much pleasure and joy to have uh, people to watch and comment and, and share this fun hobby together with me. So um, thanks again for being here. And if you have any questions about any of the items that I showed today, um, I'd love to hear it in the comments. And tell me if you think I got a good deal. I, I think I did, but um, I feel like if I tried to sell any of these items on their own on on eBay I could get quite a price and uh, but I don't want to sell any of it I just think it's a wonderful collection so that is my Felicity collection my Felicity haul have a wonderful day everybody and please click the subs subscribe button and the like button and the alarm and I hope to see you all again really soon bye bye